Yeah, I was uh, sitting there looking at all the dates, man. I mean, it is like you said, it is stacked. And I seen y'all doing a bunch of shows with ZZ Top, and I'm like, oh man, that's killer. How did all that line up, man? How did you become the opening act for ZZ Top? Well, I mean, the the short version. I'll give you the short version, and the long version. The short version is uh, a couple months ago, Billy Gibbons called us up and said, "Hey, we want you to come out with us." And that's the short version. But the long version is is that that we met Billy a few years back. And uh, he he kind of I got word I somehow got wind of our music and and uh, through a mutual friend he got my phone number and he called me up and he said he wanted to hang out when we were in uh, uh, Telluride now in Colorado playing the Telluride a blues fest out there so we just hung out and uh, I you know of course was uh, have been a giant fan of Billy Gibbons and ZZ Top my whole life I mean literally my whole life you know. And, I mean, that was incredible in and of itself. But the best part was, man, and I'm not, I'm not just saying this. The best part was is that Billy Gibbons might be the coolest dude walking the planet right now. And I'm not, I'm not just saying that. I mean, the guy is just cool. I liked everything about him. Uh, I, I like his vibe. I like his style. I like his, his work ethic. I like just everything about him. So, you know, after that, you know, like we were pals, like texting about guitars and such, you know. And uh, finally, I guess the you know the stars aligned. I always you know wanted to wanted to go out and, and, and do something, but you know I I never wanted to, to pester him. Um, but he you know he, he called us up, said hey we, we want you to come do this, and and, and it worked out. And it's just um, you know we've done a lot of shows, man, and, and we we played with a lot of bands, done this and that and the other. But I mean, yeah, but, but ZZ Top man is ZZ, ZZ Top. top. Man. You know, yeah, I, I mean it's it's unbelievable. Yeah, it, it was so sad to hear about Dusty just a few months ago, too, man. I mean, Dusty, it, it hit hard for a lot of us, ZZ Top, and just music fans in general. Oh, absolutely. And I I really thought that maybe the tour was, was going to be over, you know. And I mean, you know, not just, uh, I mean, it, it sounds, uh, you know, maybe a little bit selfish to be thinking about that. But I've I was I've been looking so forward to this. It's like, oh, my goodness. You know, I'm thinking about Dusty and all the fans and his family and just everything. And then, you know, like we've, we've been... We've been laid off for a year and a half, not been able to do any shows, and uh, it was just devastating on every front, you know, mm -hmm. on every front. There was no way around it not being devastating, and Billy said, nah, get suited and booted, we're going out there. And um, Elwood, their guitar tech, is, uh, is is taking over the bass duties for ZZ Top, and, uh, you know, it's uh, I've actually had two different drummers in, in my history in my band that were my guitar techs that moved up to drums wow. so like that that actually I, I know what that's like for a guy that's been road crew their whole life that, that gets to, to step up and do that so you know on the on the one hand you know it's it's, it's devastating for for music fans everywhere to lose dusty and uh, you know it, but it's also I, I I gotta say man I'm 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 really happy for for Elwood their guitar tech because um uh, you know that's a that's a big step up and uh, and it's a big come up and and uh, I from what I understand uh, he's out there you know really tearing it up really doing a good job and you know know what I know about Billy F Gibbons is he's going to be doing this until he literally can't like they they'll have to stop him if if they want him to stop he he has music deep down inside of his soul and his bones. And I mean, at this point, like, you know, let's be honest, man. I mean, ZZ Top doesn't have to tour, right? Oh, yeah, they're, they're ZZ Top. They're good. You yeah. know, like they're, they're good. That They can just chill the rest of their lives. But no, man, they yeah, love they, it that well, much. Yeah, they, he, he, he does it because he loves it, man. I mean, he could probably find some beach somewhere to chill back on and sip pina coladas and just, you know, watch the sunset every day. But he refuses to do that. He's making new music, man. I mean, I my favorite ZZ Top song has got to get paid off of their their uh, most recent full length. Um, Billy Gibbons has continued to put out music on his like his solo stuff too, um, and he's excited about it. You know, when you talk to him, he's talking about his next thing, man. He ain't talking about what happened, you know, how many years ago. He's talking about right now what he's doing, and it, it's inspiring to me. You know, so I I'm just you know I'm I'm I'm, I'm sad about Dusty. I'm I'm sad for the fans. I'm sad especially for his family. And that's the thing when people. They, they kind of forget that uh, musicians are, are real people, you know. Yeah. And uh, so it's, a, it's a, a, a real tragic human loss, you know. And there, there are family 
there are you know people that are, are close personal friends that have lost a, a, a real value uh, valuable member of, of, of their life you know not just uh, someone that we look up to as a musician yeah but and, uh, but, but, every, but everything I was reading about uh, whenever Dusty passed away was that that's exactly what he wanted was he wanted the band to continue going on and there was talks about the drum tech replacing him like that was kind of uh, if if anybody was going to replace him that was the person that he said that he wanted to replace yeah, him I, I so it's it's, had, it's beautiful uh, how it all worked out how dusty would have wanted it to work out well that's just it that's what i was going to say is that it, i think that they had been planning for this this possibility and i it seems like it, it was something that had been discussed and and uh you know it, it's a uh, um uh, you know, at the end of the day, if 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 it was if it had to happen a certain way, um, you know, I think that this probably is about the, as best as we could hope for. You know what I mean? And uh, I, you know, I'm, I personally, for myself, am, am am excited to go out and see. You know, the, this this version is easy top because I've seen I've seen the uh, the the original members uh, on more than one occasion, and uh, you know it's obviously incredible. And I'm and I'm really excited to go out and see this. I, I think it's going to be special too. And and uh, you know, man, I mean, ZZ Top, they've got so many songs. You know, even if you even here out there, if someone is out there listening to this and they're like, well, you know, I've never really been a big ZZ Top fan. I bet you are, and you don't know it. Oh yeah, you, you you've heard the song somewhere, one form or another. Oh, you've heard almost all of them. I bet, I bet almost everybody could go to a ZZ Top show and they would sit there and go, "Oh man, that's ZZ Top too." Well, that's ZZ Top too. Oh my goodness! I mean, you're going <laughs> to yeah. recognize almost all these songs, and then all the ones you don't recognize are going to be awesome. I mean, that's the that's the beauty of it. You know, I mean, it's like they're they're a band that is so much a part of the fabric of our of our society, of of our culture. It's just hard to even separate them from from what it is to be an American, and that's not that's not hyperbole, man. I mean, you know, uh, think about how many movies you've seen Sharp Dressed Man in. You oh, know, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's just like uh, it's just incredible, you know. So this for us, this is a, a a a big deal, you know. For me, like my when I was a little kid, some of the first songs that my my band in in in, in middle school played were, were ZZ Top songs, you know. Yeah. So it's just been this is a this is a, a dream come true for me. I, I I just you know I can't say overstated enough.